Uh, okay, like the, the, okay, let me do it this way. Mm-hmm. A lot of people talk about, I'm not, I don't want to deal with the money, but let me deal with the money. All right. right? Now, some people say that the, that the uh, economy is going to tank. Okay. Now, my idea, for instance, if, I was a, if you put a, 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 a figure on ADOS, let me do it this way. I, I would say, I'm just going to pick a number. I'll just pick some numbers, okay. right? 21 trillion in, uh, in, 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 in U.S. currency, and that would be like maybe seven trillion in Treasury bonds, Treasury uh, seven uh, a trillion in savings bonds. Well, however, okay, oh, 21. I'm, I'm, I'm just, let me do the whole thing, and then you can okay. break it down. 21 tr- trillion in, in U.S. dollars, then another 21 trillion in cryptocurrency, and another 21 trillion in. Uh, let, let, let's say precious metals, gold, silver, platinum, whatever. Now, is that your proposal for uh, ADOS I'm reparations? I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just saying. All right, so we have these numbers, $20 trillion here, yeah. about $80 trillion so in, so in various so forms of a currency and assets. That's so right. what is that money for? So, so we're talking about twenty. We're talking about basically $63 trillion. Okay, well, is that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the That is the the over generational this is a generational whatever it is okay and this is over the time this is reparations gotcha. due old from now i'm gonna just stick with um, since the american now is this a, your estimate or is this a proposal for the government to uh, repay this us, is just uh, this my stuff? estimate i'm throwing out numbers oh, just, here okay. you're, you're yeah, an economist yeah, yeah. No, just no, work fine. with those numbers okay that's fine okay, okay? so just deal with that first because i haven't got to before the country was born in other words, this is from 1776. Now, there's, there's, right. there's a thing from, say, 1619 to 1776, and that's a whole other thing. That where you have a to whole do, other thing, Where yes. you have to deal because with, we, with, we, with we the, the slave with, ships. We do and, deal with uh, legal yeah. entities, so okay. yes. So, if you, can go with, if you can go with that. Okay, so what about that uh, $63 trillion, then? Is, is, is that what you're just tabletop, uh, what you uh, believe is uh, owed? That's exactly. Okay. Um, well, I mean, you'd have to actually get an estimate. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we do need a uh, reparations panel like an HR 40 that could bring together uh, economists and uh, sociologists, historians, um, and various people who would actually be able to give us a realistic number. But to um, but for millions of enslaved. Uh, our enslaved ancestors, that would be American descendants of slaves, um, working for free, right, and then not being able to enjoy the fruits of that labor and the return on their investments, which we know America did, uh, was growing pretty rapidly, um, you know, starting from, I guess, as a legal entity, uh, 1776, on through, you know, 2019, you know, the returns to uh, that labor and the investments that would have occurred might be in the tens of trillions of dollars, but unless we actually have a, an H.R. 40, then we really won't know what that exact number is. So um, regardless of what it would be paid in, I think it is important for us to figure out exactly what is owed. Hmm. So how would, how would you do that as an as, as a economist? How would you... Well, as an economist, you would I mean, if have to... If you could sit on that panel, to, how, would you, how would you tell them to move forward? I would tell them to move forward by first cracking open the history books. Um, sad to say, the uh, systemic uh, discrimination against uh, American descendants of slaves, some people refer to us as African Americans, and we go by many different names and many different history books because we've been here a very, very long time. So as a result, though, there is also an accrued, um, there is an accrued uh, disadvantage associated with being here um, in this condition for a very, very long time. So that's the first place to start is to look at what is on the books as far as preventing uh, African Americans from enjoying the freedom and the returns on um, labor and investment and uh, and uh, such things while we were here. Okay. I mean, this is a large project, so it would take a lot of people. Okay, now that last question. So uh, so let's talk about that timeline. What does that timeline look like? For that, um, that timeline could be years. In, in, order, in order to figure out the exact amount, that commission. Well, it, not it, that, the, 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 the figuring out as and the payout. I mean, I'm just... You're right. Okay. So, so what, what would that timeline look like? I mean, like... like if you had a dedicated staff that was trying to get uh, and that was trying to get a halfway decent uh, estimate for a figure, it could take a couple of years. So, let's say two 
years to study it, maybe three years, uh, maybe three years on the third year you produce the report. That's interesting. Um, the, now, who you're, you're, you're talking about historians or whatever. How about, is there any, uh, normal, I would say normal people, but people on the ground, you know, uh, your, your local, I don't know, businessman, your, your, local, your, your local wino for that matter, you know I mean, your local parishioner. Mm -hmm. How would how would they factor into this in this into this um, as far as the uh, study? Yes, yes. That th they would need to be uh, either an expert in history, economics, psychology. Maybe they have maybe they have historical knowledge that that we don't have access to. So, but it would have to be based on something, right? Mm -hmm. Like um, we're talking about a debt is owed, and and then when it's time to pay the bank. You know, the bank doesn't ask you, what do you feel like you owe us, mm. right? No, the bank says, these are the accounts. This is what, you're, this is what we gave you, right? Mm. So this is what you owe us, mm -hmm. right? So it would have to be based on substance. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's all I have if you, I mean, I, I could. But there's, another, there's, um, there's all kinds of slogans that come out of these things. One of my favorites is um, schedule the debt due. Schedule the debt due ADOS. In other words, mm -hmm. not a, this is not a negotiation. This is not a whatever you want to call it. This is, oh, schedule, because if you're a debt collector, you just right. say schedule the debt. You don't right, argue right. about that. What, what do you feel about that? I think um, the debt needs to be, the issue of the debt needs to be raised. I believe it is being raised. Um, I believe that uh, our American democracy is based essentially on special interests, whether that interest be a teacher's union, a civics organization, or what have you, and then those special interests make demands upon political parties that aggregate those interests and then put forth policy. So it is incumbent upon any special interest that wants their voice heard and their legitimate interests heard, in this case, uh, redress of past uh, grievances and injustices due to slavery and Jim Crow, is incumbent upon them to petition either political party, both every and all, as well as the government, to put that on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very mm -hmm. much. All right.